Meet Alpine, the six-month-old German Shepherd who is very excited to play today. But his play couldn't be more serious. He's training to be an elite search and rescue dog with his handler, Mark Polikoff, who volunteers with the Absaroka Search Dogs and the Red Lodge Fire Department Search and Rescue Team. Walk to there, and then walk to the boulder, the boulder and then hide on that side of the boulder. Yep. Moments earlier, Mark sent two young volunteers off to hide. One took off toward her destination, and the other, to make it trickier, crossed his sister's track and came back. Even though he's only been in training for a few months, Alpine is a quick study. After a very brief, blink and you'll miss it, whiff of fabric with the volunteer scent, they're off. When every minute counts in an emergency, responders have some pretty unique advantages when they call in a dog and a handler. These animals are well equipped with incredible senses. Their hearing is two or three times more powerful than ours, and their paws can detect unstable ground, which is a lifesaver when avalanches threaten a mission. But those noses. No one knows exactly how sensitive dog noses are, but veterinarians believe dogs have between 100 and 300 million olfactory receptors. Humans? Well, we have a measly six million. So if a dog's vision was as powerful as his nose, he would be able to see 3,000 miles with the same clarity as what we see at a third of a mile. Thankfully, when it comes to tracking us, people are a messy bunch. No matter how clean you think you are, you shed around 10,000 cells per minute, leaving behind an invisible trail of biological trash imprinted with your signature scent everywhere you go. So for dogs like Alpine, finding people really is a walk in the park. And of course, for every job well done, there's a payoff. For Alpine, it's a game of tug and fetch and knowing that he'll be back at it again soon.